Just the Special Olympics World Games held in Berlin this year will feature thousands of athletes with intellectual disabilities. Malaysia is among countries sending a contingent as the team gathers for a final centralized training camp. Pamela Lim finds out more about the challenges they face and their hopes for the future. My name is Ernest Young. I'm 15 years old. Agnes is gearing up for the opportunity of a lifetime. She will be representing Malaysia at the Special Olympics World Games in Germany this June. But the road to Berlin has not been easy. Ernest是一个爸爸 Madam Chua has to keep a close watch on Agnes at all times, as the teen has difficulty expressing herself when she feels unwell. As they have yet to find a cure for her blood disorder, every day is a miracle. Despite the challenges, mother and daughter are both determined to make this journey together. They travel from their home state of Sarawak all the way to Malacca, joining the other athletes for a special centralized training camp. Agnes is the youngest of 16 athletes in the Malaysian contingent and the team is gathered here from all over the country for three days. It's a chance for them to meet each other and train together before heading off to the World Games. So what sets the Special Olympics apart from other global sporting events? The focus on participation rather than competition. It emphasizes inclusion and brings communities together regardless of abilities. We told them, all of you must give your best effort, immaterial of what is the achievement. You must give your full effort, because when you come back, you will feel, oh, I have tried my best. That is what we want them to feel. We want people to realize that they are also normal human beings. They are also capable. So we must accept them. Because I worry that if the society does not accept them, they have no way to go. The Special Olympics World Games kicks off on June 17th, where these athletes will join some 7,000 others from around the world. Pamela Lim, CNA, Malacca.